how's it going this video is for my uh, Stan Meyer buddies over there in Ohio and abroad expanded the, the uh, reactant side of the hairpin a bit we're still only using one wire the hot wire the uh, ground wire is what you see laying over there back there so we've got uh, six seven eight nine capacitors five five microfarads each uh, or 45 microfarads total went into the MOT we're coming out of the MOT remember no ground wires hooked up no neutral from the house out of the MOT into an additional hairpin configuration in this configuration I've been adding and reducing to try to see what gives me the best power output um, from what I'm going to show you in a minute here but right now we have six seven eight nine ten twelve of them together times five microfarads or uh, 60 70 60 microfarads total yeah <laughs> anyway into a bridge rectifier standard 120 volt uh, we're the output here is approximately 120 volts uh, AC and through the rectifier it turns into obviously it's it ends up dropping to around 109 or so coming out of here um, but once we put the load on there it changes as well it drops down uh, however we have a uh, another capacitor just on the DC side here and from there we're going to we have our ground the uh, AC ground on the rectifier is my two copper ground rods outside uh, if you can see them one right there and then there's another one that's now another 12 foot away and then uh, the last one is this black wire here which is just grounded to the light which happens to give me the best ground of all but it still works without it um, so we're looking at approximately 39 volts now that's being read across basically across this capacitor or the, the DC terminals here and we're coming over here to this device here and she's uh, pumping away just nicely Adding and change, adding and reducing capacitance seems to is is giving me more power in some configurations and less in others. And cell configuration, as far as put these other um, wires on here to to distribute the voltage properly. But this seems to be the the almost the best so far that's been stable. But it's making quite a bit here. Oh, and there's one other thing. Zero amps. Zero watts, power factor one, zero kilowatt hours for the past 20 minutes. And this is what the DC wave looks like on the other side of the rectifier. And then I'll flip it over and show you the AC side real quick here. Now we're going to be coming off the uh, the ground side of the second, uh, the MOT output secondary capacitor, and it just looks like it's much more, even more of a sine wave effect. But there's a small. Let's see if I can get it on here. No. Hold on a minute. Let me find this. Okay, this is as close as I can get it. Um, there's an initial little bell ring here that ramps up before the AC waves or the DC pulse or the AC wave starts and then there's another one that happens as well before we actually have the drop so this is interesting it's almost like we get two pulses out of whatever's resonating here before the um, this is the AC reading the AC before the um, the polarity flip-flops and drops down because I'm only using one side I'm only using 30 Hertz coming in when only when this hot wire goes positive 30 times a second so that's the only time that we pull the electrons from ground and are able to pump this circuit. Pretty neat, huh? Thought you might like that. My shit's all fucked up from my sodium hydroxide nastiness. I need to clean it up. <laughs> See you guys.